Do you hate wearing body armor while it's hot out? If you do, you are just like many others. But the worst thing that you can do is not wear your vest just because it's a little hot. That is where Hyperline comes in. This vest is incredibly lightweight and thin and molds your body perfectly. It's surprisingly cool in the summer, making it a vest that you will never want to take off. Come check this out. I'm going to show you what actually happens after just a few minutes of wearing it. The vest will actually conform and mold to your body perfectly. So if you look at that, that's me. The sides are a little bit, uh, you, you get a little elastic, so maybe, uh, maybe a little skinnier than I am. But you can see that that molds to your body. There is no doubt at all what vest is yours. And the really cool thing about it is that even though it takes whatever shape you give it, it is fully flexible and really softens up. So we're gonna take this vest that I was just wearing for a couple hours that you can already see is molded to me beautifully, throw it up on that dummy, give it a few shots. Now, if you wonder, if heat is gonna affect this armor at all. We're in the desert. I've been uh, really putting my body heat into this. We're gonna shoot this to show you exactly what it does. Let's take a few shots. Let's check it out. These three are pretty close to one another, maybe only about two inches. Go from this side so you can see. And not even a dent. We have no breakage in that in the uh, the mesh on the back, and that's because Hyperline, even though it's so thin and so lightweight, it does not compromise on that blunt force protection. Let's give it a, a few more shots. I think we shot it maybe six times already. Let's get a little closer too. Cool, let's check that out. And uh, I didn't really put any effort into spreading these out. So we have on that shot group, just so you know, I also didn't put any effort into hitting the same spot either. <clears throat> and nothing, not even the breakage of the mesh because there are no compromise with Hyperline. Even though it's so thin and lightweight, you get amazing blunt force protection. Let's keep shooting at it. When we're in our lab, we tried very hard to get 44 Magnum through. Uh, we just kept shooting the same spot and we weren't able to get anything through it. This armor is really, really ridiculous. Here we go. Let's get some more. How about some uh, contact shots? Okay, so at this point, I think we have about 40 rounds of nine full metal jacket in this. And finally have a little bit of, uh, a little bit of wear on that label, but definitely no penetrations. That's uh, four shots, one, two, yeah, four shots on that one spot. You know, one thing that a lot of people ask too is, oh, that's great, it stops full metal jacket, but will it stop hollow points? Hollow points are far, far easier to stop than Full Metal Jacket because they're designed to expand on impact and they get caught up on those fibers. Um, hollow points do more damage to flesh and, uh, well, to flesh, but as far as penetration capabilities go, Full Metal Jacket's the way to go. Let's do a few more. Okay, Let's see if we can get something through. At this point, We've done four max of 17, and here comes number five. Center mass, where, uh, like I said, I haven't really been able to get much through. There's one, finally. All right, well, we got some more here. Cool, there we go, I saw that one. So, it took about five mags of nine millimeter full metal jacket, all center mass, couple stragglers, um, all center mass before we got one through. Let's take this apart and I'll show you exactly what happens inside this armor. And actually, I might do another video showing you what we look for on bullet analysis um, while actually developing all new types of armor systems. So this vest now weighs like three times as much as it did when, uh, when we started. Uh, I'm gonna take it out, show you guys what happened. There is the Hyperline, 100% US made, 
right here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Technically Henderson now. I'm gonna uh, take it apart. We already have the first layer and quite a few rounds in there and there were some falling out of my feet. Let's see if we can get these. You're not really able to pull apart all the layers with the way that we developed this. But this is three layers in and most of them are falling out at this point. Number four, it's these rounds all, all flattened out. Most of them still hot. Getting in a little bit farther. These were all, again, remember, all in one spot. Let me just break through here a bit more. Oh, some got in there quite a way before, before getting there. But these back layers are the champs. Uh, these back layers actually mitigate all the trauma and really give some rigidity um, to help dissipate the energy um, as, as, uh, as it gets hit. We even have some caught here in the back, right there. Looks like we have the one penetration right here and these are just some, uh, some deformation to the layer itself. Awesome. And there's that one right there. So that's it, that's one of the first, first times I've actually been able to get things through Hyperline. We put about 85 rounds, all center mass, before one got through. With Hyperline, there are no compromises.